when you use an AR, you're you're going to kill people. You don't go hunting for deer with an AR. When the founding Thank fathers you. like defined freedom, they didn't think that ARs were going to be part of it. Or black people. Yeah. Or people of color. People of color. And how about freedom? They want to talk about how we shouldn't ban guns because that's hurting our freedom. How about abortion? We're forcing women to have kids. I see you have an Antifa flag right here. How would you describe yourself politically? It was even crazier about this country though, bro. They care more about their guns than people. Than actual people they care about. You know who EDP is? Yeah. I, I'm a guy that caught him. Wait, you're the guy who caught EDP. Wait! No. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The problem isn't the guns. The problem is a people problem, okay? Ever since 1973, we legalized abortion. I think that was a real downfall in American society because we've murdered millions of children. Why is it okay to murder children in the womb, but not okay to murder kids in school? Nigga, what? Black crosses, black crosses, black, black, black crosses, crosses, black crosses, the team nauseous, the team nauseous. YouTube most likely, and if it goes up on YouTube, I'm gonna say what I feel like it's on my mind, and you can choose to comment or not. Either way, I don't give a single f what you gotta say about what I gotta say. You understand that? I don't care. Say what you want, I'm gonna say what I say. And y'all niggas ain't gonna do shit about it. With our ARs, let's watch this. We're citizens. Without them, we'll be slaves. They're not assault weapons. They're sporting weapons. <laughs> not even ten seconds in, bro. Not even 10 seconds in. They're sporting weapons. <laughs> yeah. Sporting weapons, right? Yeah. Interesting. You know, that that, that motherfucker, you know, shooting up that, you know, shooting up that elementary school. I guess he was shooting those kids for sport, right? He, he was probably shooting them for sport, right? Because they're sporting weapons, right? Yeah. Okay. I got you, bro. I got you. Cool. Nice. Interesting. It's necessary to protect my family. Really? N necessary to protect your family? Protect your family from what, bro? What was a, a, a zombie apocalypse? Are, are we a warring state? You know, are, are we getting like attacked by other, you know, countries? You no, know, within our state and shit? How often do you get attacked by people? How often did your family or did your house get attacked or, you know, robbed or some shit like that, bro? It's an assault weapon, bro. An AR, bro. Not even a minute in and already some stupid shit I see. Already. Like, is it too much that for a pistol? You know what I mean? Is it too hard just to just have a simple pistol locked away in a safe? Like, why you have to have all these guns, bro? Like, what's the purpose of having all these guns, bro? But you think the fucking U.S. military and all that shit? You think the military is over here using ARs and assault rifles and shit like that for fucking sporting? No, nigga. They're using that shit. To protect their lives. So what the f do you need that sh for? From tyrannical government. Why do you think there are so many mass shootings? Because that's what's on the agenda for the left. They want to take guns away from law-abiding citizens. Protesters pushed up against barricades, keeping them away from the NRA meeting site. It's tense. The pain of a national tragedy does not bridge divides here. When was a shooter a member of the NRA? I want you to tell me. You can't because it never happened and it never will. You're an yeah, idiot. CJ, I believe you, love, my boy. you have the right love, to own a firearm. But I do not believe uh, you should be 18 years old to be able to have an AR. When you use an AR, you're sh you're going to kill people. You don't go hunting for deer with an AR. When the founding Thank fathers you. like defined freedom, they didn't think that ARs were going to be part of it. Or black people. Yeah. Or people of color. People of color. And how about freedom? They want to talk about how we shouldn't ban guns because that's hurting our freedom. How about abortion? We're forcing women to have kids. I see you have an Antifa flag right here. How would you describe yourself politically? It was even crazier about this country though, bro. They care more about their own guns and the ARs and shit than a woman's body, her willpower, you know, who she is type of shit. What she wants to do, her own choice. They care more about their guns than people, than actual people they care about. You know what I mean? They care more about their guns, bro. It, it is that crazy. Look at here, I don't give a fuck what it is. At the end of the day, I feel a woman should always have her choice on whether she wants to have a child or not, bro. A country should not dictate that at all, bro. How is this country supposed to be free if you over here dictating whether a woman can have a baby or not? Foolish. That's foolish. I don't, like... Politically. I'd say I'm a socialist. So I believe in taxing the church, taxing the rich. Yeah, Abolish the police. Like, yeah. Police are supposed to protect us in schools, right? But in Uvalde, they didn't. When I get That's older, true. like old enough, 21, I'm gonna own a firearm because That's I don't true. trust police to solve my cases. Mark said in his. Another thing, 
Um, what was another thing I realized about all, about all these shootings that have been going on recently? I'm, I'm pretty sure some of y'all have uh, have peeped it too. But you realize that the bigger attention a shooting happens, like the more like chaos that happens from a shooting, nine times out of ten, more more than likely there's gonna be another another mass shooting that happens right after that. You know, within a week or so. Why? It's because those weirdos, those it's like psychotic ass niggas bro they have more confidence to go out yeah a domino effect they have more confidence to go out and you know to do it because they're because they want they want attention or they want to cause more ruckus because they know that they could probably get away with it or you know they know that they, they cause all that chaos bro that's how bad this world is bro it's, a, it's literally a, a domino effect and until something is done this is gonna it's gonna keep being like this you know what i mean i, I know people say oh you know shit their gun laws isn't gonna do anything People are gonna get their guns any way they want, and that's and while that may be true, I mean, bro, keep in, just keep in mind, it's not gonna be easy. You know what I mean? Even though, like, look, having look, having stronger gun laws, I mean, sure, people are gonna get people. If someone wants to kill someone, they're still gonna get it any way they want to. But it's like, you know, it's not gonna be easy to get it. Believe me, it's not gonna be easy to get it. <laughs> you know, more restrictions just means it's, it's hard to get the thing, bro. You know what I mean? How often is it that someone has to, you know, defend someone, especially if you live in a you live in a neighborhood that doesn't have like a lot of crime because believe me there are people out there especially black people not even just black people but like just people who live people who are in lower income neighborhoods they have more crime in those neighborhoods than people who you know live in the suburb the suburbs people live in gated communities they have less things to worry about so why the f do you need to have an ar or a rifle or you know just like some why, why you know what i mean you're not dealing with shit Ain't no one, no, ain't no one's hunting you down there, bro. No one is hunting you down there. If anything, you got money for good security and all that shit. You can buy a fucking security system, if anything. You know what I mean? A gun should be your last line of defense, if anything. Why the fuck is it that you have to buy so much of these guns that you don't even, you're not even using for anything else other than to shoot bottles outside or some shit? It's like, what's the point, bro? The only reason they are getting rid of the choice for abortion is because they're trying to preserve the white population in the country. They feel like they are getting overrun by black people and Spanish people. <laughs> that's, probably, that's probably what it is, bro. For all we know, that's probably what it is. If you were a psycho and wanted to murder kids in school, you could do it with a, a sharp pencil. We need to address the big picture here. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I, like, like I said, I mean, obviously, yeah. I mean, bro, ain't, bro anything can be made use, look, anything can be made to be used as a weapon. That's the thing. If some, look, if some crazy guy person wants to go and kill kids in the school they can do that shit, with or without a gun but keep in mind they're not gonna kill a lot of people doing that shit, though you know what i mean it'd be easier to stop them if they had a knife versus like if they were like you know versus like with the an ar bro you know what i mean that's the whole point of this thing communist manifesto that we should arm the proletariat just arm the proletariat to ensure that they're able to defend themselves well, my sign asked exactly. a pretty obvious question exactly. uh, that i think everybody should be asking this is the right time to have hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i ain't gonna lie hold on i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie pretty obvious question i ain't gonna lie yeah and uh that i think everybody should be asking this is the right time to have a celebration of guns right on the heels of more than a dozen kids and, and teachers getting murdered uh, a few days ago in uvalde this is ridiculous that we're the only country that has to deal with this and that's what today is all about is voicing our righteous outrage at our elected officials and the people at the nra who decided to celebrate guns with blood on their hands today. This time at an there elementary school in Uvalde, Texas. We have just learned the death toll is exactly. up to 19 children and two school employees gunned down during their last week of school. The shooter legally purchased two AR variant long guns within a week of his 18th birthday. Within a week. Dude up there is uh, tossing magazines out to the crowd. Give me one. Uh, we're here, we're in Houston, we're at the NRA convention. I think the mayor asked this not to happen, the governor pulled out, but it's still going down. It's just silly to me, bro. Shooting an RPG, an RPG. is the ultimate Vegas hooker experience. It seems like a great idea at the time, it's really, really expensive, and it's over way too fast. An RPG is a rocket-propelled grenade, so anything that launches that, they either call an RPG for short or a rocket launcher. Within the I swear, bro, niggas be bro, niggas be loving these guns way too much. Hey, you love these, uh, bro. If you love guns this much. Play some Call of Duty or some shit, bro. Like, play some Call of Duty, whatever the fuck it is. Just play some fucking games. You know what I mean? You feel like shooting guns and shit. 
Why you gotta? Why you gotta spend money to do all that? Shit? Just buy a video game, man. Past couple of months, Airtronic you know I mean? did sell off about 30 of our older model models. Like, what do you need an RPG for? So there's a lot for? of in civilian hands now, and people are what do you need an RPG enjoying for? them. Explain to me. Remember, American made. I mean, sure, it'd be fun to shoot one, but like, you don't need it. This is an MR 762A1. I don't know anything about guns, so I don't know what the hell this is. I'm pretty sure this is a gun. This is a gun. I'm a big, I'm a big NRA proponent. I'm a life member. And the timing sucks, but I mean, it's it is what it is. It's this doesn't have anything. To, there's no connection between this and what happened in Uvalde. There just isn't. What do you think that we can do to to stop mass shootings like that? I think it goes back to the basic family. I'm, I'm 66 years old. When I was in high school, we used to take our shotguns to high school to show our coaches if we got a new shotgun. What then we down after school. There was never a school shooting when I was in high school. What's different from then to now? What's changed? What do you think changed? I, it's the family. Mm -hmm. Look how many single father. Look how many single parent families there are. Just go to Chicago. Look at the look at the amount of crime that's crime in Chicago. I mean, they have 40, 50 gun shootings a weekend. I guess the difference would be that, like in Chicago, a lot of that I violence mean, is gang related. I We're talking lie. about kind of lone wolf shooters walking into an elementary I, school I think, with. An I mean, I go like, you know, Chicago is kind of crazy over there. I go love you. Also, also keep in mind, just keep in mind, there there is a reason for that though. Just hear me out. There is a reason for that. Keep in mind that there are, you know, in those in those certain parts of Chicago, usually where most shootings happen is usually low-income, poverty-stricken places. Why? Because with no money, all right, with having no money there, you know, people have to find a way to survive. So they get guns, they shoot, kill, and they take from other people. Or sometimes people get into the criminal, you know, they get into gang, you know, gang violence. And that's also another reason why that may happen. Now, up in the, you know, in the suburbs, that, that rarely ever happens, you know what I mean? that just rarely ever happens but for cases like this though you can't you can't really just blame the parents for like all the i mean sure i mean in in most cases you, you should probably blame the parents but you understand it's like i i look okay look i look at it in a split different way sure parents are to blame yes they are to blame because they're the ones who bring the guns in the house in the first place but also sometimes where you gotta understand some people are just crazy as they're psychotic and even if parents don't even bring guns to the house some people are what some people are willing to even want to go out and get their own guns and do that bro so it's like at the end of the day bro it just it's just what can you really do i mean i, I just i don't i don't know believe me it, it's there's a reason why there's a lot of shootings and gang violence in certain areas versus like you know screw shootings and shit. An ar-15 it is, it's troubled kids i'm not a big Fast gamer sensor. but i mean i've seen a lot of the video games and there's a lot of them that are just shoot them up blow them up you know it doesn't look real yeah so how do you think we can rebuild the american family that's got to be done at the at the at the at the street level. Single parents are running 30, 40 percent of the households. It takes two people to raise a kid. Why does anybody need to have you know an AR-15? <laughs> Guns have been around here since the beginning of America. So, but, but back in the day, it was like muskets and stuff. It doesn't matter. You know, nowhere in the Constitution does say. What do you think about like? I like how you didn't answer the question though. The question was, why does anybody need an AR-15? His answer was people been having guns since the beginning of uh, 17, 17, 1700. But he didn't answer the question. Increased background <laughs> checks. He didn't I, answer I think the, question the anyway. background checks is adequate now. Hey! Right there, X, please. Across the street. What do you think could have been done to prevent what happened in Uvalde a few days ago? Oh, uh, we could have banned assault weapons 20 years ago. The murder at Uvalde, Texas will tell everyone that we need to have gun under control. We don't take guns away from people, but we have to have a proper background checks. That is the only way we can avoid these kind of murders of children. You cannot say, well, we hide police or these are mental people. Abbott, he said that there's a mental problems with the United States. Anybody. Background checks, somebody else, and has a mental health psychological health. checks what about as well. The rest of the world? Both, both of them. Do they have mental problems too? No, they don't. Both right? those so are why, essential. That's why we are here. It's better that the government knows 
that people do have ARs. Governments have killed 260 million people in the 20th century. You know, Stalin, Mao, whatever. People say, oh, that'll never happen here. We all live in a bubble. We are the most privileged country on earth. From the homeless guys here to fucking Bill Gates. Hot crap, where's I going with this? Uh, what was I gonna say? Okay, governments, this, that. Okay, you know who EDP is? Yeah. I, I'm the guy that caught him. Wait, you're the guy who caught- Wait! EDP. No. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, 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 no 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 there's no way, 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 there's no way. No fing way. What is he doing here, bro? This nigga's out this nigga really going out here and showing his face. Bro, that's crazy. He gained weight too. And he losing his hair. That is crazy to me. I even peep. I'm like, what's up? Have killed 260 million people in the 20th century. You know, Stalin, Mao, whatever. People say, oh, that'll never happen here. We all live in a bubble. We are the most privileged country on earth. From the homeless guys here to fing Bill Gates. Hi. Okay, but dude, you have to realize that all those countries at the time, they were dictators. Like, they were being ran by a dictator. You realize that, right? Like, Joseph Stalin, you know, Mussolini, Hitler, like, all those, like, they're, like, they, they were being dictated by a, uh, you know, uh, you know what I mean? This country, that's not happening here, bro. That's not happening here. There's literally laws and constitutions that protect that shit from happening. So what the fuck are you talking about, bro? <laughs> this idiot talking about dude <laughs> oh crap where's i going with this uh what was i gonna say okay governments this that okay you know who edp is yeah I, i'm the guy that caught him wait you're the guy who caught edp that's yeah. crazy so how do you bro. think that we can prevent uh, mass shootings like the one that occurred a couple days they, you were the one who caught edp bro not only is he a fucking pedo himself but he's a racist too and he's an idiot he's three for three bro three for three Go. The reality is, there's Salvador Ramos is out there. The reality is, there's Peyton, whatever the hell's name was, Adam Lanza's, yada yada. People will be uncomfortable if there's teachers armed in schools. Uh, yeah, we need uh, more guns around the schools. And we protect our president with guns. Oh my, oh my god. Where do they find these people, bro? This nigga just said we need more guns around the schools. Oh my god. This nigga's trying to this nigga's trying to fix the problem with the he's trying to fix the problem with the problem. How do you expect that to work, man? Start giving teachers guns to carry now. Start giving start having, you know, security guards with guns and shit. You know, having them walk around with their straps and shit too. Yeah. Like some kids won't get to that somehow. Why is it that first you just want bro chat? Here's one thing I've noticed about this country. Why is it that the lower income schools are always the schools that have metal detectors? But it's never like, it's never like, you know, the school, it's never the, you know, the, the private schools and the other public schools. It's always, the, it's, it's always the low income schools. Why is that? Why is that? I've always wondered that. Yet, there's never, never, or very rarely do school shootings ever happen at those schools. Why is that? I've always wondered that. Bro, it's like what 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 what's what's what, what's the sense what sense does that make, bro? It's it's kind of racist when when you think about it. Cause why do you have that for low low lower income schools? But the private schools don't. Oh, yeah, no, they they will never have they will never have a gun over there. No, people will never bring a gun over there. I feel like all schools should have a, a metal detector at the very least, or even not even that, but better security. Have better security, bro. You know what I mean? I feel like I, mean, I feel like schools should have you no. Know, I have a couple security guards and on the you know on the on the patrol in case shit this happens. I mean, I mean, I feel like no one. Should, I mean, I feel like guards shouldn't even have to carry a gun around. But it's like I don't know, man. Obviously, you know that there's a problem here if children are getting murdered by someone, bro. You know it's a problem here. We protect our congressmen with guns. We protect our governors with guns. Our celebrities, sporting events, jewelry stores, banks, and then we protect our children with a sign that says, "This is a gun-free zone." I see that you have Rosa Parks here. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I met Rosa Parks. She's anti-abortion. She's a good friend of MLK. He's anti-abortion. He was anti-abortion. So, uh, case closed. I see that you have two. Mike Lindell, my pillows attached to your belt loops on either side. Yeah, Mike's a friend of mine. I've only met him once in person, but he knows what I've been doing for him. He sounds like a good friend. Yeah, he's a good friend, and uh, and this is a little bit more firm. And they're the best pillows I've ever had. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the softer one, the medium fill. The standard's a little tough on my neck. 
Did you enjoy his pillows prior to his endorsement of Donald Trump? Uh, well, they've been around for a long time. I couldn't afford them. He cut the price in half now. Here's a tip. Uh, don't order them through the mail because they come wrapped up with no box. Go to Walmart, get them in a box. The box is going to be worth more than the pillow. Why? Because it's ah, classic. Yeah. I'm getting ready to go over to the uh, communists that are packing guns. Do you think it's smart to engage with them? I screamed profanity at them and it made them angry. They can't tolerate freedom of speech, but they expect me to tolerate them threatening me. What is your favorite piece of profanity to hurl at an Antifa BLM soldier? Uh, fat baby butcher bitches. Fat baby butcher bitches. Well, you're, you're gonna go do it again? Yeah, I'm gonna go do it again right now. All right, now. well, I'll see you over there, man. Don't let those fat Antifa communist butcher bastards butcher take your pillows away. Godspeed, soldier. That's you're doing one. the right thing. I had 150 of them screaming in my face on the 14th of this month. I met Rosa Parks. I don't give a f You don't know sh You don't either. Look you at you. You dumb ass and you're you stupid. You stupid. You fascist piece of sh Oh sh Oh sh <laughs> Hey, Chad, look, it's Homelander! Go get your sh back, Homelander! Do you think there, there's any type of common ground that could be reached? Yeah, there's a little gap. I think they could change uh, some of the requirements. <laughs> the they are. You know, back in the old days, we didn't have the same type, type of weapons. So they could change the law and make it 21. Do you think that kid should have been able to buy they are. The boy should fire. I'm on season two, bro. I don't know. Somebody, somebody worked on the kid's brain. They worked on that one in Buffalo also. He drove 300 miles to shoot black people at a store. He probably could have drove a few miles within the city he was already in. I guess the main difference is like the... the, the that sh that I would never understand that sh bro. You, bro. You know how much hate you have to have in your heart to drive 300 miles to a black owner grocery stores to murder several black people like what the f you see what i mean you see what i mean with this right like this is how this is how it's how this country is bro there are people who are this racist who would actually do some shit like that and that's insane bro especially bro mind you especially bro <laughs> looking at gas prices right now because gas right now is insane my nigga i bro i was <laughs> thirty dollars can't get me half a tank no more bro I can't even get half a tank with thirty dollars anymore. My car, I get plus gas. Tell me why that's just like five, five fifteen for the plus gas, bro. It's like eight nine. Gas is insane right now, but that's a whole different story. But the fact that you drove three hundred miles to do something like that, insane to me, bro. It's like wow to have that much hate in your heart. The dude in Buffalo is motivated by like racial hatred, whereas it seems like the guy. It was only racial hatred because the guy was white. I think he had the, the N word written on the gun and he published like a big manifesto of talking hey, about. Abortions, you had. Well, that's what they're telling us. I, I don't know the facts because I hadn't seen them. We are dumb with your bullshit. Why would this kid put a manifesto the facts that I hadn't seen them? What? Well, that's what they're telling us. I, I don't know the facts that I hadn't seen them. We are dumb with your bullshit. Why would this kid put a manifesto together anyway? Chuck Schumer didn't want us to pass laws to protect schools. He doesn't want cops in schools. He doesn't want to harden the target. He wants your kids to be killed. That's why the Democrats advocate for murdering children in the womb. They don't care about life. The NRA has a f***ing thing to do with it. You idiot. When did the NRA kill somebody? You're an idiot. I know who you are. Dude, what the heck? I want to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't think these like these NRA niggas. I don't think they understand though, bro. It's like even if look, even if someone from NRA, look, even if they're not physically killing or doing mass shootings, you understand that your association is promoting. You're promoting the use of rifles. You know what I mean? You're promoting the use of assault rifles. They promote gun violence. Pretty much basically like you know what i mean they're not like helping they're part of the problem that's basically what it is bro like they're they're part of the problem it's just part of their problem man. oh yeah that's cool insane. so how do you feel about uh what's going on right now with them over there i don't like not like them they're human beings i love everybody okay they have souls you're an idiot 
but it's just sad because they're confused. <laughs> yeah. The problem isn't the guns. The problem is a people problem, okay? Ever since 1973, we legalized abortion. I think that was a real downfall in American society because we've murdered millions of children. Why is it okay to murder children in the womb, but not okay to murder kids in school? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I... <laughs> no, I, I don't think I heard that correctly. Did I hear that correctly? No, I, I, I think I misheard what he just said there. Heard millions of children. Why is it okay to murder children in the womb, but not okay to murder kids in school? Yo, this country is. We're, no, this country is literally. This country is full. It's, it's, it's over, bro. <laughs> this country's over, bro. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. What I just heard, bro. Look at his face. He was so sure that he's like, yeah, bro, that's facts right there. Do I have to? Do I really have to explain why that statement? Like, why that's wrong? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know exactly. Like, I don't have to explain any of that. What the? Fuck? You're an idiot. You're like stupid. I know, I know this isn't your usual thing, you usually just let people talk, but I want to listen yeah. to what, what you think. Well, I, I'm curious if you think there's any common ground that can be found between... See, that's a very complicated thing to talk about, oh and I think God. there is room for that, okay? I think we can have mental health evaluations, and I think, what was it, Dad? What was the statistics like for the adult population? It's about 25%. The yeah. adult population in America is suffering from some form of mental illness. Yeah. I think, I think... Damn, 25%? Nigga, that's a quarter of the whole country. People in general should be evaluated and have help. Whenever you go into a gun store, you have to fill out a paperwork called a 4473 and say, hey, they're going to run a background check. This 4473, this document, it's a document to look at your background, okay? It's not going to know the heart of man. We need to better keep up with the health of our people because we're suffering people, okay? We have more access to hardcore porn on the internet, whittling down the psyche of humans and literally making us just sick people. You can't legislate morality and you can't tell what you are really going to do but at the end of the day we live in a free society and we have these rights and privileges and that's what happens you know they don't have school shootings in china because you can't own firearms in china do you know that the most popular porn category in america right now is incest i had no idea no isn't that insane why why is that the case tonight leggings shapewear and handbags came down the runway but this is no ordinary fashion show discreetly designed so no one can tell that you have a weapon. The concealed carry fashion show targets what the mm -hmm. NRA calls its fastest growing demographic women. Hey, bro, why you pulling that shit out? Do we have a problem, sir? Do we have a problem, sir? <laughs> hey, that shit go crazy. Do we have a problem, sir? R.I.P. Bro, all those nineteen kids, bro. R.I.P. to all of them, bro. That 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 should never happen to any kid. Bro. Yeah. Nah, bro, it's crazy. Um, it's insane. It's so sad, bro. All right, we just arrived in Uvalde, Texas. Oh, um, what's in me? Just, uh, just whisper it to me real quick. Just, just whisper it to me real quick. I'll, I'll look in a second. Which, as most people know, is the site of the um, most recent mass shooting that took place around a week ago, where 19 students and two teachers were killed at Robb Elementary School. This is the Wendy's where the shooter worked. Bet. Apparently, he used to work the graveyard shift at the uh, drive through window. Until about two and a half weeks ago. Hold up, I should, I should look at it right now, just... Bro, 
288. Wow. Mexico only had eight. South Africa had six. India had five. Nigeria had four. Pakistan, four. Afghanistan, three. Canada only had two. France had two. Brazil had two. Estonia had one. Hungary, one. Azerbaijan, one. Greece, one. Kenya, one. Look at this, bro. All the other countries, they've only had one school shooting. They obviously, like, bro, look at the statistics. You know for a fact that <laughs> there's a problem going on here, bro. We have, we're at three figures right now, three digits. Everyone else is like either the average here, the median is like one, bro. We have more school shootings than all these countries combined. And not only just that, not, no, not even all of them combined. Like, all of them combined, like, times. <laughs> like, I don't know. He quit abruptly. Once he had saved up about $4,000, which was enough to buy Insane. two assault rifles, ammunition, and a bulletproof vest. This is the store where uh, the school shooter picked up the guns and ammunition that he used in the shooting. He actually ordered the, uh, the guns online, but this was like a transfer store where they shipped it here and then he picked it up. This is where the shooter drove his pickup truck through a guardrail and crashed out, like right here. Got out of the car, went over to the... Uh, funeral home here, shot at a few people, but then didn't hit anybody. Then he walked over into this building, and that was the, uh, the site of all this. Oh my god, bro. That's horrible to hear that shit, bro. Right. You go to sleep seeing their faces. You wake up seeing their faces. What can we tell them? We don't want to scare them. She's the worst lady ever. Oh my god. And the other poor little innocents that didn't make it. You know, their father's parents were going crazy looking for them. I'm not sure they're in a lot of pain. And my husband was here getting the mail when when he heard gunshots. But it was, he's having a hard time because he just wished he could have done something to prevent it. Our community will never be the same. Si decimos que no hemos pecado, le hacemos a él mentiroso. Y su palabra no está en nosotros. Amen. 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 She uh, loved Guns N' Roses. She loved that song, Sweet Child of Mine. She's a beautiful girl. I like this song. That was her favorite song. She loved Guns N' Roses. And, hmm. She would, um, Hundreds of thousands of people she would dance around her room singing Sweet Child of Mine. This is sad, bro. I love this country and I'm so grateful for everything it's given me and all the opportunity that I recognize I wouldn't have if I was somewhere else. That's not lost on me. And at the same time, this, this should encourage us to want to be better. And we're not. I think AR should be banned? Yes. There is absolutely no reason for that. Mind you, I I have a, a, a pistol, but I I don't I don't think that a semi-automatic weapon uh, is necessary in our country. I exactly. Don't see the need. I don't see. I don't. See that the goes without saying. I think in this case, I know the uh, like what the fuck? bodies the bodies of the children were uh, were uh, shredded as a result of that. What do we need that for? I don't understand it. They say that like having those high capacity assault rifles are the final line of defense against a tyrannical government. Oh please. Bro, bro, it's like when has that or when will that ever happen? This like there are bro, there are literally like the constitution and all that shit, it prevents shit like that from fucking happening. Like, you understand that? We're not like these other countries, dude. So when the f like that's not gonna happen. I don't, I, don't, I don't get like what, what, I don't, I don't get it, bro. A tyrannical government. Nigga, what the f is this, bro? Attack on Titan? <laughs> I think I think we're already facing a tyrannical government when we have things like this happening. Uh, well, there's no excuse for this. I don't care what they say. They're wrong. Unless it happens to one of their own, then they're not going to do anything. You know, and Ted Cruz. Uh, I agree. He's a sorry person for a position that he holds. I'm sorry, but it is such a truth. But we're not supposed to say anything? If he can say what he wants, I can say what I want. 
They should have rushed in. They That's their job. What, ni almost not, an hour before they, they decided to do anything? No. That's... It's unheard of. It really is. Breaking news in the investigation to the school shooting tonight. Texas DPS is telling us that Uvalde CISD it police is. chief has not been cooperating with investigators. On Friday, DPS director Steve McGraw said the school district police chief was the instant commander at Robb Elementary School who made the call to wait to take down the gunman. If they had, they would probably save several of those lives. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. This is bullshit. Like, this is preventable. And this is absolutely unacceptable. When we talk about how great this country is, this is unacceptable. Unfortunately, like so many things, in a couple more months it'll blow over like this never happened, you know? No, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think this is going to blow over anytime soon. Then the, the audacity of the people that went to the NRA convention in Houston, for them to say that they don't need to make any any changes? What's wrong with them? Hmm. And they wonder why people are always on their heads about shit like this happening. You are you guys are part of the people who are supporting shit like this. National Rifle Association. Not National Gun Association. National Rifle Association. That means you know, or rifles. I can understand, look, like, if you live in the southern, no, in the deep south, in very, like, rural, like, you know, rural areas, you know, where there's forests and all that shit, you, you generally, you go out to hunt for food and shit, like, for deer, for game and all that shit. By all means, do what you gotta do, all right? But, it's, you know, that's like a hunting rifle that you need for that. You don't need an assault rifle, bro. I, I swear, these, like, some of these people, they try to make up so many excuses, so many different excuses for why they need that, why they need a assault rifle, and it's just like, every time I hear it, it just sounds like complete bullshit. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't add up. It's just, they think a, a tyrannical government is gonna turn on us and then uh, you know, destroy us all. It's like, dude. <laughs> no, bro, you know how many times, you know how long, you know, this country has been this country? Ha, ha, has, has the government ever tried to overthrow, you know, the people in all those years? All those, in those two and a half centuries? No. So why the f they start doing it now? I don't give a f what any of these motherfuckers in the comments gotta say about guns or rifles, none of that shit, I don't give a f I don't care. Uh, I'm not here to argue, I'm here to tell you my f opinion. And you can choose to comment, you can choose to look away. Either way, I'm gonna still say, I'm gonna speak my mind regardless, bro. Unacceptable.